Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a while since I uploaded on YouTube, but now I'm back. If you guys do like those cinematics I just did, I did everything on my phone. The Canon G7X I had, I recently dropped it on the floor so the lens doesn't work anymore. But this episode, I'm gonna be just recording everything on my phone. Sorry for the bad quality. I don't know if iPhones are really bad with quality for YouTube videos, but I have no other choice. So we're gonna be doing everything on the phone today. So let's start off with my E30. If you guys don't know about this car, I did basically build it from the ground up, did a whole repaint, interior uh, swap, like in color. And this car was basically my first car, so I wanted to do everything I could to it. On the previous episode, if you guys haven't seen, I did talk about the breakdown of my M50 B25 swap. And honestly, this is probably like the best thing I've ever done to this car. And I'm super happy how it came out. I did a full shaved bay on the sides the whole sides of the engine bay are shaved and it gives it that little tuck look and i have all the wires tucked and everything and here's the driver's side so i'm super happy how this came out but i did talk on the previous episode on the whole breakdown of this so you guys should check that out overall i'm happy with the swap i've been wanting to do this whole shave thing for a while and i did talk about the whole process of me doing what parts i needed to make this whole thing complete so now that we talked about the whole motor and everything, let's talk about the wheels. And these wheels, let me tell you guys, these are my dream wheels. I've been dying to find these wheels and they're not really common. I would say like in the US, but if you guys are familiar with BBS, these are BBS RFs. These been my dream wheels since forever. A lot of E30, guys know that these wheels are like super rare or the faces are super rare the reason i went with these wheels is because the first time i saw bbs rfs i saw them on the e30 m3 but these past two months nothing's been really going on with this car i've been having an electrical problem as you guys can see i have the whole center console out and the kick panel out so i am trying to fix that to get this car back on the road and also i'm still doing the whole airlift 3p bag setup and like i said i just haven't had time to uh, basically work on the car. So the car's been left like that for quite a bit. The previous months I have actually done to this car is just to pick up the wheels. And pretty much that's it. I mean, the motor's been still the same. The motor turns on right away. The motor sounds really good too. So I'm super happy about that. It's just the whole electrical problem with this car. And these cars are not new. They are over 30 years old. So small things you're probably gonna find along the way. And if you don't have these problems and you're super lucky because these E30s always have problems and they're just known to be like that. So now that we're done talking about my build, we do have another E30 under this one. I won't be talking about this one, unfortunately, in this video. This build is basically for my dad. Um, we got it for a really good deal. And I'm going to be building it for him and doing all this crazy stuff. So it does turn on key. Everything runs. This car is super clean. I can't wait to show it to you guys. And also, we have another E30. So this E30 is not mine. It's actually my buddy's. We are actually doing a full build on this car as well. And probably the next episode, I'm actually we're going to be talking about the whole build process on this. And we started this from the ground up like I did with my E30. So hopefully, we're going to be talking about this in the next episode. I'm going to have him explain you everything of what's been done to the car so it's a cool swap um and all the stuff that we've done to it that we did on our own and we're building it here so i think that's pretty cool and i'm and i'm hoping you guys will like to see more of this as well now that we have three thirties in the driveway we're gonna make our way to the fourth one so this e30 it's a 1987 bmw 325e it is oh it's locked but it is bone stock one owner and I found this actually on offer up for $1,200, which is a crazy price for this car. Everything's pretty mint on it. And there's not that much like stuff to work on. And I do plan on keeping it, everything bone stock, but you know, just a little bit of TLC. Everything will look super nice. The headliner does need to be redone. Um, back seats are super good. Of course, the front seats are torn. They're notorious for having torn seats, these type of cars, but, um, everything's here i mean all the electrical works the cluster turns on the horn works and i know it's this is a type of car for me to not 
pass on because I could do so much with this car, especially there is no motor and dry chain in this car because the ped was blown. Uh, let's see if I get this open. So the good thing is that it gives me uh, the opportunity to do a, a swap and I could basically do any swap I want now since there is no motor in the car. So all the stuff on the sides, I do want to keep it stock. I don't want to put too much work into it like how I did to mines where I just shaved the whole bay and everything because that does require a lot of work. With this one, I could basically do any swap, an S54, S52, M5X swap, or we could just do an LS or a V8. It's a lot of ideas for me to do a new whole build series with this car, and that's the plan uh, with this shell. So I could basically start from scratch, and I could do something that's different, um, that I could have fun just building right here. Not only that, but this will be kind of a cool experience to do a new build series for YouTube since I didn't really record much for that car. Now, this is going to be the project car for the build series for this channel. And I have a lot of ideas uh, just to do or just to put into this car and to actually make it a daily too because this car has so much potential. It is bone stock. Nothing has been messed with. So everything is here, which is a good thing. So... That's the only reason I got this car is so I could do any swap to it and also to start from scratch so I could do a whole new build series for the channel. Also, this will be kind of cool for me just to document everything and it'll be a fun little cool project to do and I'm kind of hyped on the whole thing. So I basically summed it up now, uh, what I've been doing these past couple months. Got a new project, working on my French swap. We cut up E30. We have another E30 and also with my E30. So technically we got four and a half E30s here with this pretty nuts. It's cool. I mean, not that many people like to mess with these cars and now these cars are super popular. It's kind of crazy how I got all these cars for a super good deal. And now that I'm gonna be on YouTube more, I'm gonna be doing a whole build series for this car. Also talking about this car as well. And then working on my own car and showing the whole process of it. If you guys made it this far, thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you guys do want to follow my Instagram, I'll put my Instagram name in the bio below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I can't wait to start showing you guys a new build series and everything. And it's going to be super dope. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.